sing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly Good morning, Rhinox. This week, your lessons should be moving to experiences where you have more real-time interactions with your teachers. At this point, each of your classes should have synchronous elements at least once a week. Good afternoon. This is uh, Great Egg Green, and this is what we're reading. Uh, I'm reading Paper Towns by John Green. So we're going to go through the log investigation that uh, you were doing yesterday and finishing off today. And as you know, we're joined this morning by our two psychologists from the University of Basel, so we've got Emma Jones and Marnie Reed, who are joining us to explain a little bit about their current research project. So this is a great opportunity for us to learn several things. So we're enhancing our knowledge about research methodology. We are learning a bit more about acculturation, which is relevant for our curriculum. All these graphs here are logarithmic graphs. So good morning, everyone. We're really excited to have the opportunity to talk to the class about our research. Seize this opportunity to introduce to you our 30 day active people challenge. The other bit that we need to be able to do or that you guys need to be able to do is to extrapolate graph lines from experimental results to compensate for the heat loss and to use that compensation in your entropy calculations. So that's what we're gonna have a look at now. And we're gonna do that straight away with, an, with a specific example because that's making it a little bit easier. Hi students, uh, good morning and um, yeah, good luck this week. I wanted to send a quick video to update you on some changes that we're making. As always, the teachers are so impressed with the work that you're doing and how responsible you're being. So congratulations on uh, really learning how to do distance learning well. What do you think a civilization is? In your own words, after watching the Ed Puzzle video. I think that a civilization is a group of people that live together in an area that also work together to create or help different beliefs and societies. I think that the most important element of civilization is the education, um, because education is like the foundation of the society. I think a civilization is an organized group of people in a society or a culture living in the same way. I think that a civilization is a community that is technologically, socially, and economically advanced. You're, you're meeting at the start of each class, and the reason for that is so that the teacher can meet you together as a community, give you the instructions, give you the resources you need, and be able to answer any questions that you might have right there together as a class. This time you're going to be doing a reflection about, about the week. Um, how you think it's gone. Hello everyone, I miss playing and talking with you. I like being at home, which is a bit lonely. I can't wait got to go back to school. I'm really happy to help you. If you have a try and it goes wrong, what I usually do is just send you um, a little drawing with an explanation of how, it, of how you could do it. My dog ate my homework. That mischievous pup got hold of my homework and gobbled it up. I saw that you were busy in the kitchen making some healthy snacks. Now it's my turn to make a healthy snack. And today I'm going to make a banana smoothie. Mm. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Funny Friday. Hello, wo geht's zu vor der Winterbergen? Er geht zu Denmark. Ist, ist Denmark heiß? for all your hard work and effort that you've put in boys and girls and developing your understanding and learning. What has been the most exciting thing you've done? Learn a Lucy family. Writing a poem. What are you looking forward to? Keep on learning. If you learn to love challenges, you will always love learning. <laughs>